Hello and welcome to another Starbase tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at precision mining lasers and how to set them up. So what we have here is a mining ship uh, for this demonstration and we have a range finder and two mining lasers. This is the setup you're going to need to make this work where you basically need two mining lasers with a range finder in the middle. They can be up, down, left, right, uh, any orientation you want, but you will have to play around with the code a little bit to make sure that it is accurate to your setup. But I will be going over that shortly. Now let's quickly do a demonstration. First, we'll just quickly look at what this does. This pretty much just makes these lasers follow you wherever you are, and they are only on if the rangefinder has a target. You can see these follow. They update every 0 0.2 seconds as quickly as possible since we are only using one line of code and real quick we'll quickly demonstrate how this looks from the pilot's point of view as you can see these will lock on to whatever plate we put in front of them anyways let's look at how this works so for this you're going to need to rename some fields this is to make sure that the variable, name, variable names are short the first step is to rename mining laser on to ml on both lasers so that's his first value to ml. Second step, rename the turret bodies to RT and LT. If these turrets are the other way around, you want to make LT on the left uh, on the left side and RT on the right side. Uh, or basically you want to reverse these. So this would be LT and this would be RT if they were the other way around, in other words, flipped. Anyways, moving on, you also have this thing where you want to set this first field to mine. So rangefinder on stage should be set to mine and this field should be set to R. That's all you need to do to set this up with the name fields. And then let's look at quickly at the chip. This is the wrong one. One second. Here we go. It's simply this very simple line of code, which where this first part sets the uh, mining laser to on if you have a target and if mine is set turned on and the second length pretty much determines what angle it should be now when you're setting this up this number right here will vary a little bit so currently i would set to 90 for our setup the general rule is you take 40 or 50 50 times the range in meters between these two so here we have about two meters of space so it's about 100, but a little bit less, so it's 90. So we have about 1.8, and we take that times 50, and that turns out to about 90. That's just what works for this setup. So you'll have to play around with this number. If you're overshooting or undershooting the angle, just change this 90 value to a value that works for your setup. So that's the one you're going to be changing. Otherwise, um, this should work for all intended purposes. This 20 is whatever you have set your maximum rangefinder to. We can technically turn this up to like 24 if we want to, since these mining lasers are a little bit closer. We'll stick to 22 just to be safe, and that will basically determine the range of your mining lasers. Remember, the maximum range of mining lasers is 20, so depending on how it's set up, you don't want to make this number too big. But just make sure this is equal to whatever you have your rangefinder set to. Here we have a bit out two meters of distance or one meter of distance between um, where the laser exits and the rangefinder. So having 22 should do well. Anyways, that's all for this video. That's all you need to set this up. Make sure that all components are connected with cables. Other than that, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and hope that you can install this on your miner and add this to your designs.